and it's now on a 25 minute wait so that's not too bad you see it going behind me but we're gonna head to swarm next not too sure what queue that's on but they've got two mazes this year each a separate price 10 pounds each so quite pricey but obviously there's only two mazes there's lots of scare zones this year which is very different from the tour park and yeah we've just been on stealth it was a really really good ride um i love that ride it feels so so good and Prove it on there. The train was gone within 10, 40 seconds, which was really, really good. We stopped really quick, so I don't think that queue is going to build up very much today. But anyway, we're going to head to Swarm and do that ride here at the Thorpe Park Resort, Fright Nights 2020. And also, our um, our Fright Night slots are half three and half five, so Roots of Evil Platform 15 returns for another year at Fright Nights. They've also got the Angry Bird Cinema as well. We'll go and check that out a bit later on in the vlog. weren't working today but fair enough it is a bit cold and I wouldn't really want to get a little bit wet anyway but yeah it's really really good ride that can't wait for this area to come alive tonight with swarm invasion obviously but that will be really really good we'll come to check that out a bit later 70 minute queue for swarm not too bad um, no social distancing whatsoever in the queue line put my mask on and everything to try and keep me safe but yeah there was no social distancing everyone was crammed together so the social distancing that was very very good about two stars for social distancing stealth queue line that was really really good for social distancing we were swarm not so great anyway we're gonna head i think to nemesis inferno next swore is as i said earlier shut still but we'll head to stealth and we'll go and see that as, and i'll tell you my review not stealth nemesis inferno that's a really really good ride not as good as nemesis though in my opinion let's go so i was about to take a ride on storm surge actually but and then um, I was about to get in the queue and everything, but and then the woman came and said, have you got um, four people? And I said, no. Um, yeah, you've got to have four people on there. And obviously because of the COVID-19 and everything, you can't just get, you know, three other people to come on with me. So that's a bit of a shame, to be honest. But hopefully I can come again soon and go on that when obviously COVID is done and everything. But yeah, the storm surge, I'm not missing out on a lot, to be honest. But yeah, I just thought I'd take a ride, but we'll head to Nemesis Inferno now. And I thought, while I'm here, I might as well take you around. And obviously, Walking Dead, there's no real, real changes here. It's still shut uh, due to COVID and everything and the restrictions. But it's still shut. When will it open? I really don't know. We've got the gate there. You've got a sign and everything saying that it's not going to be open. But away with you we go. Fortunately, it's still shut. Obviously, understandable with COVID and everything. I'm just wondering when it'll open.
we've just taken a ride on Nemesis Inferno and Colossus. And Nemesis Inferno, yeah, it's all right. It might be not as good as Nemesis, but I'm a bit of a Nemesis lover, to be honest. And yeah, Nemesis is really good. But Nemesis Inferno, great theming, great scenery, and pre-show was really good, except for no smoke. I haven't seen no smoke uh, for the last two times that I've been here. Maybe it's broken or something. Maybe they're hopefully fixing it. But yeah, it's starting to get, get a bit dark, starting to get a bit eerie here at the Thought Park Resort. It's just turning about three, two, three o'clock now. There's Colossus. But um, we're gonna head to our maze, which is, I think we're going on Roots of Evil first, and then we're gonna head, uh, which is half three our maze slot. So then we're gonna head to platform 15 at half five. But anyway, in this little hour gap that we've got, thought I might as well head on to Rush. I've never been on Rush before. I've heard great things about it. Um, I'm not too sure what year it's opened, I'm not really familiar, but I do like flat rides and yeah, we'll take a ride on Rush here at Thorpe Park Resort and then we're going to see all the scare zones, shows and more. So we've just come back from Roots of Evil, the scare maze, the outdoor scare maze here at the Thorpe Park Resort and to be honest, that was really, really bad. I know. I suspected it to be really good and obviously I went checked it yesterday and if you haven't checked that out that vlog, go check it out up there. And that was really really scary, it's a 10 plus maze, this one is a 13 plus maze. And it wasn't even scary to be honest, it wasn't really that good, I'll move away from the speaker. Yeah, it was, it was in the daytime so maybe that's an exception but I'm coming back Friday to do another vlog um, in the dark which will be um, hopefully a bit better but there's actually just didn't seem to have the energy to be honest and obviously the actors are good because of the road vast and everything but the actual page just, I don't know, it just wasn't scary to be honest so I didn't think I jumped one time in that maze it was just really 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 not boring but just no energy in it to be honest and it's all outside and you can walk around the woods and everything they've got some lovely lion packages and some okay theming in there tunnel smoke and I was walking through the smoke expecting there to be an actor and everything there was no actor so I don't really know there was to be honest, I'll rate that out of five. I'll probably rate that um, just below average too. And also, you have to pay, you have to pay ten pounds for that maze. And Chesterton's won five pounds, and that one was much better. But for ten pounds, that was really, really bad to be honest. So if you're coming here and you, you haven't done it before, take a take a like stroll through the maze, but don't ever do it again. Um, well, it's up to you really. It's your opinion, but in my opinion, I don't think I'll be doing it again with next year if it comes back. I don't think I'll be doing that maze again. But anyway, we also went on Creek Creek Massacre and Chain. Obviously last year they had um, a maze called Massacre. Um, but obviously because it's an indoor maze in coronavirus, they can't return that for this year. So there's another thing called Creek Creek Massacre Unchained. It's an outdoor scare maze with various scare actors, chainsaws and more. So I've used some footage of off-ride, um, not off-ride, but going in the Creek Creek Massacre Unchained. And then I'll put some more footage of off-ride the school here at Fort Park in the, in the night time. And then we're going to head to Platform 15. I'm hoping this one will, you know, um, up my spirits at Fort Park right now. So far, not been the best, but anyway, we'll head to the uh, platform 15. Yeah, I'm trying to get a good face so I don't have to look at it. <laughs> 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 Here we are in Creek Freaks Unchained uh, scare, scare Zone. Hopefully, this can redeem Thought Park's letdown of Roots of Evil, their new maze, which is a complete letdown to be honest. We'll make our way around here though. Lots of theme in as well, which is really, really good to see. The person with the chainsaw here.
drains. So why you're not listening to me, huh? Oh, it's the cold there. Yeah. And I tell you what, that was really, really good. I'd, I'd, I wasn't too keen on Route to Evil, with a new maze for 2020, but Platform 15, it just, it was a, it was a great maze. Lots of jump scares as well. Coming back on Friday, so I'll redo all the mazes as well uh, while I'm here on Friday. And I want to sort of give Route to Evil another chance, maybe. But anyway, we're going to head to Detonator. We just headed to Saw, and people are going crazy for Saw. I mean, it's not, it's a girl's hour ride. So it's not really that great of a ride, but people are going crazy because it was shut this morning for maintenance and now people are just going crazy over it, running and um, operators and stuff, they're trying to say stop running, the queues at capacity and everything, it's just a bit crazy over at Saw and Samurai, so um, we'll hope we'll maybe go back up there at the end, we want to go on Detonator, and I sort of want to go on Saw, I haven't gotten it this year, but there's just too many people over there, there's no social distancing, um, they're just going crazy over Saw the ride, it's absolutely crazy. But anyway, we'll head to Detonator. I've got the external light on, so you should be able to see me all right. So yeah, we'll head to Detonator. They give my review when we come off. But the Friday Night Mazes were fantastic. Creepy, creepy freaks and change as well, and the dark was really, really good. As you've seen from the footage there. Unfortunately, we can't film on ride the mazes. Um, so yeah, you can have to do the off-ride footage for now. We'll head to Detonator anyway. just come out the Thought Park Resort and it's been a fantastic day. Um, we went on Stealth again, took a re-ride on that and we went in the Screenplex Cinema um, which was really really good this year but they did something weird at the start like acting but it was sort of a bit boring to be honest. I just wanted them to play the uh, movie but the movie was really good. No water effects this year unfortunately but lots of steam, moving chairs and everything but yeah that was really really good and as I said I didn't think we were going to get on Saw today because it was really really busy because it was shut this morning. But we did get on store and that was really really good ride i love that that's probably one of the best rides to do in the dark because it's really really good and that and the queue times died down towards the end of our visit because people went in the mazes so if you're planning a trip here go go in the mazes in the dark but not too late because they do get really busy and there's big queues at night and then you can get loads of night rides on swarm or whatever ride you want to do it's been a fantastic year what year do i think was better last year or this year i'd probably say last year because there was a lot more mazes and they were inside but this year was still really good with all the scare mazes and there will be a part two uh, to this video which will be coming out on friday where we'll have a look at the fierce festival and lots more of the scare zones here at the thought park resort so we'll be back here friday doing more of the scare zones mazes and i'll even give you some updates on the queue times Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.